Hello Libra, welcome to your mid-month October reading. Hope y'all are doing well. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. All right, let's see what's coming in. Love, money, friends, family, your pet. I'm just kidding. We're going to take a look at your current energy, what's challenging or influencing you, what's on your mind, what's coming in from your environment that you don't see yet, how you see yourself, emotions, and what's your outcome for the rest of October. If this one hits home, the link to the extended reading will be below. We'll get some advice. We'll look at love. And we'll also dive deeper into your outcome from this reading. All right. Let's do it. If you're new here, welcome. I am so glad you stopped by. If you're returning, thank you for all of your love and your support. All right. Let's check it out, Libra. Coming into the reading, what do we got? The sun. All right. I like it. Leo energy, Major Arcana. What's the influence of that sun? My ass looks amazing as I walk away, also known as the Eight of Cups, at least on this channel. What's on your mind is the Queen of Coins. All right, Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What happened in your recent past? The Nine of Cups. All right, what's in the foundation? Why is everything happening the rest of October? You've got the Four of Swords. That's actually your card. Card of Libra. All right, coming in, what will you experience coming into the near future? The Nine of Coins. Your money looks good. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? The devil, Capricorn, Major Arcana. Why are you the devil, Libra? Oh, we're going to find out. Don't you worry. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? You've got temperance. Could be a Sagittarius or somebody with Sag in their chart. What's going on in your emotions, Libra? You've got the two of wands choices here what's the outcome the six of cups so some nostalgia to the past perhaps hmm. some of you are um you feel tied and bound to a person you feel a little bit stuck you're patiently waiting for their return or for some sort of change within a current connection if you're completely single you're living your best life and you're just patiently waiting for that soulmate energy to come in it's all happening, though, because of this Four of Swords. So, again, really just kind of meditating, resting. You might be taking a break from someone. You know, somebody may be withdrawn with that Four of Swords. Again, if you're coupled or you're completely single, this is just you getting your thoughts together. And it's all about some sort of change and happiness and healing. A lot of healing energy going on after maybe somebody walked away, Libra. Maybe it was you or them. Again, it doesn't have to be an ex energy. If you're currently talking to somebody or newly dating or even coupled with somebody, this could be, you know, listen, I want X, Y, Z. We both need to think a minute on this, how we achieve that energy. All right, let's start clarifying and see what we need to know. All right, so Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, what just fell out of mom's deck on the floor? What do we got? Temperance in reverse. So we'll put it back, see if it comes out. So again, growing impatient could be that somebody's just not willing to compromise, right? I think you guys are really with that devil energy. You know, somebody might be a little there could be some temptation or some fear or just feeling like obsessively waiting for something to evolve. Um, I think a lot of you are as far as your career and your money go, you're just tied and bound to that job, that money. You know, that devil can be a little bit of a workaholic. Because you're trying to achieve some sort of goal and you need a little bit of a rest. You may take the rest of October and just kind of rest. The Four Swords can literally talk about, I'm just pulling away, I'm getting my thoughts together, recovering from something. But there's change coming. You've got the uh, sun coming into the current moment and with that Eight of Cups, that also represents change after not being fulfilled with something emotionally. So we're having to walk. With that Queen of Coins on your mind, Libra, you could be connecting with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Maybe you have that in your chart. But also, you know, she's very stable with her money, her career. She's really thinking about the future. And again, with that Nine of Coins coming in, something tells me that you guys are really, really focusing on your future money and career. Some of you work from home. All right, let's do this. Coming into the reading, we've got the sun. Why is this here? And the seven of wands in reverse. Let's take a look at that again. What's the seven of wands in reverse? Ooh, and the ten of wands in reverse. So two wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, energy. Closing out a cycle here. I think a lot of you are healing, Libra. It doesn't mean that they walked. Maybe you walked. I mean, we can still be in a connection and still need time to heal, get our thoughts together. That Ten of Wands is like closing out a chapter or a cycle that was just heavy. Seven of Wands, I can't fight. I don't have a leg to stand on, so I give up. 
but the sun is still here and it is talking about some sort of positive change i think a lot of you might be waiting on that as well why is the eight of cups the influence you got another eight which represents change the eight of pentacles I feel like it was either you or the other person just kept giving, giving, giving to this energy, the situation, putting in the effort, the work. You, you still may want to. They may still want to. But somebody just wasn't fulfilled here with that eight of cups. So having to walk. Some of you are getting tired of the mundane kind of the work energy. So you're thinking about walking. What's on your mind is the queen of coins with the ace of cups. Yeah, see love, healing uh libra what's this uh queen of coins with the ace of cups what's that and the five of wands conflicted some of you are like in love with somebody again the roles could be reversed and just wanting because the queen of coins i mean if we're talking about a relationship that's who you marry right you she represents a long-term stability she's very nurturing she typically has children but her career is also very important to her as well but with that Ace of Cups and the Five of Wands, some of you are going towards something new. You're sick of the drama at work. Others of you in love and relationships, you're just conflicted. Because I think your heart still belongs to someone. What happened in the past? The Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, change with that Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. What's this about? Yeah, see, the Two of Cups. It could have been a karmic soulmate, y'all. That Nine of Cups can really talk about, just, there was somebody here that you were super happy with. You saw this person as your soulmate, but some sort of change needed to take place. And really, whether you see it or not, we don't always see it at the time, it was in your best interest. With that Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Cups, the connection, you it may have come out of nowhere as well. and But immediately, it's like that energy of, oh, this is my person. But something's happened here with that conflict, the Five of Wands. It's all happening because of the Four of Swords. So why is this here? That's your card. Yeah, and the, that's also your card. Two of Swords is also Libra and Energy. You guys are, you're somebody's pulling away. You're on a break. Somebody's ignoring. You guys are ignoring each other. But I feel like you don't know which way to go, or they don't. With that Two of Swords, there's a blockage. What's this Two of Swords? And the Ten of Pentacles. Still wanting that long-term relationship, something stable. A lot of you or they felt like, oh my God, this is my person. Finally, change, something's going my way. But somebody's blocked someone here and pulled away. Others of you, um, this is a family member. And with that two of swords, you're ignoring this person, maybe due to um, something financial. What's coming into the near future? You'll experience the nine of coins. What is it? And the four of wands, stability. Your money looks super good. A lot of you are, if you don't work from home now, you're going to start doing some things that, you know, at home that bring a lot of joy and stability. Some of you are going to move as well, too, or you're thinking about moving. That nine of coins is living our best life. He or she is just energy, but work looks really good. I think a lot of you are going to get offered to, um, it doesn't mean you're leaving your current job, but maybe working remotely or something. It's something that you've wanted to do for a while and you just can't figure out how to get there, but the money looks good and it's something within the home. And I think it's going to be a lot more um, stable. Money's going to look really good if you decide to do that. You should. And I think you've been patiently waiting on that. Others of you, again, with that Nine of Pentacles, as far as love and the Four of Wands, again, just kind of being at a distance from someone, doing your own thing. You guys are single from each other. With that Four of Wands, again, just trying to, like, I, I think, because the Four of Wands is a new beginning, 11-11, Twin Flame, and, you know, if, if you believe in that, and I think that you're just patiently waiting on somebody to come back around or they are, or to, you know, if you're not separated completely, you guys are just thinking on this and you're not really sure what to do. Uh, why do you see yourself as the devil? Why? Capricorn energy and the six of pentacles. Yeah, remember I said earlier, some of you are going to be tied and bound to your job, like workaholic, like you're going to be working really hard, but it's going to be worth it with that Ten of Pentacles here. You might just even be ignoring other people, relationship situations while you focus on that. You know, the devil can be obsessive energy, but with that Six of Pentacles, again, it's like giving, right? It's you're giving your time, your energy, you're getting paid for it. It's equal. There's a there's a balance here. It's reciprocated. 
others of you again are just kind of like obsessively waiting for something to balance out in a relationship what's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet you've got temperance sign of sagittarius and the knight of pentacles virgo capricorn taurus yeah, that money looks good. It's going to take a little while to build to where you want with that four of wands. What's this temperance with the knight of pentacles? You're patiently waiting for that. Yeah, see, look, there's judgment. I do feel like there is some sort of resurrection here of something. It doesn't mean you have to completely get back together, right? But there is, and this is definitely some sort of karmic tie here. And that's why you feel stuck to this. You just want to give. You want balance to be restored. Because I do feel like it was there at some point. It's going to take a, a little while. It probably won't be uh, October, maybe going like middle of November. Somebody resurrects something, whether that's somebody reaching out. Temperance is reconciling, willing to compromise. Somebody just needs to time out here. But I feel as though something does get re resolved. Judgment is that judgment call. It's a big, important decision. And for some of you, it is legalities, right? It's like paperwork or a contract that you're signing. And it's just kind of at a standstill. You're waiting for that to happen. And it will. Money's going to get a lot better, too, whether this is just like a, you know, something you do on the side or, again, some of you are going to start working remotely from home. What's going on in your feels, Libra? You've got the two of wands with the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Yeah, so, you know, setting out on a new path. The two of wands is making plans. It's a little bit unsure, right, which action, you, which way you want to go. But this is all about creating with that magician in your emotions, major kind of number one. So it's saying, you know, you got your you got your emotion, you got your pentacles, the stability, the mental energy to do this and the communication. So you've got it all. That magician will just stir it all up in that cup and boom, use the law of attraction to make this happen, whatever this is. And, you know, again, in your emotions with the two of ones, I think this is about making plans. Some of you are really, really diving into your spirituality, using that law of attraction to manifest this person back and it works. Your manifestation skills are like off the chain. So keep doing it if that's what you want. It doesn't mean it'll always lead to happily ever after, but we see that six of cups in your outcome too. Now in the extended reading, we'll take a look at that a little bit uh, deeper and see what love looks like after that. What's the six of cups in your outcome, Libra? What is it? And the king of pentacles. Look at that money, man. You've got the queen of pentacles here. That's what's on your mind. That's what you're trying to manifest. And you've got the King of Pentacles there. So the King of Pentacles, of course, you know, you've got Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. But that King of Pentacles represents really good money. But even more, it represents success, achievement, reaching a goal here. With that Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles, it feels mighty good, doesn't it? That Six of Cups can be reminiscing about the past. But if we're just looking at career, how your finances are going to go, all that good stuff. The Six of Cups is just fond memories. Some of you are um, working with children as well, but that King of Pentacles is amazing for, it's really the best card you can get for your career and your money. So you're obtaining some sort of goal here. You're going to reach that goal. That's amazing. The money looks really, really good. Now for career, you've got the Six of, I'm sorry, for love. If we're looking at relationships, that Six of Cups with the King of Pentacles and the Hanged Man, Pisces energy. Let's get one more card on that. You got Major Arcana for Pisces. What's this uh, hanged man about? What's this in the outcome for Libra? And temperance in reverse. Just be careful, especially if you're connecting with an earth sign, because you're manifesting this person to either commit to you, bring more stability, you achieve something with that King of Pentacles energy. But if this is using that law of attraction, that magician energy to manifest this person back, so let's just say it's an ex or somebody you're on a break, just be careful because it's happening. But then with the hanged man and temperance in reverse, it could just be kind of, it could become stuck again. With temperance in reverse, again, it's a, it's a lack of compromise. You may feel like your emotions are all out of whack or theirs. But with temperance in reverse, it's losing patience. Or again, it's just this lack of compromise when it comes to a long term, like building something, achieving something within a, a relationship. So just be careful. I always say, be careful who you're manifesting, right? Because they may be manifesting someone else or they may be manifesting another situation. I definitely feel like you'll, you're you going to have some sort of contact from this person, but it, it almost feels like after that happens, it becomes stuck, especially if it's an earth sign 
or if they have like heavy earth in their chart. So just be careful of what your expectations are. I think this will happen towards the beginning of November, maybe a little bit after. Others of you in career, I see things getting much better. Some sort of promotion or again, you're working from home, taking on more responsibilities. Uh, with the hanged man and temperance in reverse, you may not be overly happy. You may want a million dollars, Libra, and they only give you, I don't know, 900,000. So, and you may grow a little bit impatient. So uh, the main advice on that outcome is to just make sure that you don't lose your ish, right? Don't lose it on anybody, Libra. All right. Now in the extended reading, we'll take a look at that a little bit more. We'll look at love. We'll look at money. I want to specifically look at the outcome. We're also going to get some advice from the guardian angel vintage Oracle deck, and uh, we'll get a card or two on love as well. So I will see y'all over on the extended. Hey, if you liked the reading, give it a thumbs up. You can like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Feel free to leave your comments. And we will talk soon. I love you hard. Love me hard back. See ya.